السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ایم پروفیسر ڈاکٹر محمد نرول عالم پروفیسر آف مائکرو بایولوجی بشندر الدین میڈیکل کالج اینڈ پرنسپل بشندر الدین میڈیکل کالج ٹوڈے آئی وانٹ ٹو سے اباؤٹ دا مائکرو بیکٹیریم مائکرو بیکٹیریم دا نیم آف دا جینس مائکرو بیکٹیریم از ان آلٹرنیٹولی اٹ از نون ایز دا فنگس بیکٹیریا as because it produces fung- more like fungus or more like growth in the liquid media. So it is termed as a fungus bacteria. They are very, they, these bacteria has got very complex lipid contents in their wall. So they are acid first and alcohol first. There are more than 100 species, but few of them are pathogenic. Some of them are opportunistic pathogen and some of them are non-pathogenic. Mycobacterium, it causes tuberculosis, disease of tuberculosis. It is a chronic granulometrous disease and there are many species or in microbiome tuberculosis complex there is a six species which are responsible for this microbiome tuberculosis like granulomatous disease one is that microbiome tuberculosis microbiome tuberculosis microbiome bovis microbiome bovis bcg microbiome africanum one and two microbacterium microti and microbacterium capri this they includes in the microbacterium complex tuberculosis complex so this is all about the microbacterium if you see the incidence of or prevalence of this disease throughout the world every year about in the last in in 2018 about 1.5 million people died of this disease and about many countries of the world are affected by this disease but highly burdened tb burdened countries is india china indonesia nigeria bangladesh and philippines and bangladesh is included in the top eight tb burden countries so this is a situation scenario global scenario of this bacteria now let's see what is this this is the taxonomy if you see the taxonomy this bacteria this is a family microbacteria and genus mycobacterium species tuberculosis if we see the classification of this bacteria the classification is typical mycobacterium one group that is the mycobacterium tuberculosis which includes the mycobacterium tuberculosis my, mycobacterium bovis mycobacterium bovis bcg mycobacterium africanum mycobacterium F- microti and mycobacterium capri this is the typical mycobacterium group another group is atypical mycobacterium this is photochromosins and scotochromosins non chromosins and rapid growers photochromosins they produce pigment when they are exposed to light scotochromosins they produce the pigment when they are in dark and non chromosins when produce don't produce any pigments rapid growers especially the tuberculosis the mycobacterium they grow slowly but some of them they grow rapidly they are known as rapid growers and another is non cultivable mycobacterium that is mycobacterium leafy this is cannot be cultivated in ordinary media or in vitro culture cannot be done so but it can be maintained in the animal by inoculation 
in the animal. So that is the uh, microtome leprosy and it causes the leprosy. Saprophytic and microbacteria, their pathogens in the environment, in the soil and in some foods and even in the, some in, in the skin of the human being. And they are microactum butyricum, microactum phalli and microactum smegmatis. So this is hello about the hello, yeah. Now let's see in microactum tuberculosis complex, what are the organisms are present. Microactum tuberculosis complex, complex in tuberculosis complex, many organisms are there, at least six organisms are there. They are, uh, they are grouped in a complex as because they have the almost similar characteristics. Also they produce the same type of disease in the human being. So they are, they are grouped in a microbiome tuberculosis complex. Number one, they include, this, this complex includes uh, M tuberculosis, Microbacterium bovis, Microbacterium bovis BCG, Microbacterium africanum 1 and 2, Microbacterium 1 is present in the east part, eastern part of the Africa and this is related to or resembles the Microbacterium bovis and also the Microbacterium africanum 2, this is resembles to the Microbacterium tuberculosis um, and it causes the disease like Microbacterium tuberculosis. Microbacterium microti, this is a, a this is a tuber, tuberculosis bacillus of the a whole, that is a, a small mammals and this can spill to the human being and can cause tuberculosis. Microbacterium cafri, this is a tuberculosis of the, they cause tuberculosis in the goat and from the goat it may come to the human being. So this is the tuberculosis complex and now let's see what is the morphology of microbiome tuberculosis. Morphologically they are long slender straight and slightly curved bacteria. Its size is about 3 micrometer in length and 0 0.3 micrometer in, uh, in diameter. They are, they are intracellular, but this is facultative intracellular. As because facultative, why? They are not usually intracellular, but they are taken up by the macrophages. And in the, in the phagosome of macrophage, they can reside, they can multiply there. That is why they are intracellular, micro, uh, intracellular organisms. They have got mycolic acid, oxys, and varieties of lipids in their cell wall. They are very uh, lipid content is about 60 percent and this is why they are hydrophobic, they are acid and alcohol fast. They do not take the gram staining so they are neither gram, neither gram positive nor gram negative organisms. Now this media, these bacteria can be cultured in solid media and liquid media. Solid media, there is conventional solid media that is a low instant Jensen media. This is very much, oh, very much traditional, conventional and very old media until now this is used for the culture. Now other media is also there but not too much of use, not too much in use. What is there? Agar based media now, Middlebrook 7H10, Middlebrook 7H11, and Middlebrook biplate 7H10, middle by 7H11 agar media. So, this is all about the culture media. Now, liquid media is very important nowadays as because in the solid media the growth comes about 2 to 6 weeks it takes to come. So, but in liquid media, the growth may come within one week. So, this is very important and nowadays this is very much in use. What is that? That is Bactec 9000 MB. Bactec MGIT 960 system is very much in use now. 
and there is other media also safety check AFB, Dubos Media, Middlebrook 79789 broth. All this liquid media can be used for the culture of this bacteria. Okay. Now culture in low Jensen media the growth is very slow as because the doubling time or generation time of this bacteria is about uh, 14 to 18 hours. So, though they grow very slowly or they multiply very slowly. They grow at 37 degree centigrade temperature, but, but there is a range of temperature which is about for 25 degree centigrade to 37 degree up to 37 degree centigrade. pH of the growth of the pH of the growth is, is about hello, 7 and grow slowly only in especially in this media containing egg, aspergine, asparagine, potatoes, serum and meat extracts. Colony appears after 2 to 6 weeks. This is the culture. This is bacteria is quite resistant to drying and heat but they are very much sensitive to ultraviolet light and they are very much sensitive to high concentration of alkalis, high concentration of acid and they can be killed by ethylene oxide, they can be killed by uh, glutaraldehyde and they can be killed also by the pasteurization process and autoclaving they can, can kill. So, uh, or by they can be killed by um, heating at 60 degree centigrade and heating at 100 degree centigrade uh, also. So, this is the resistance of this bacteria. Now, let us see that the disease is caused by the bacterial species, microbacterium species. Microbacterium lefri, we said before that this bacteria can cause leprosy. Mycobacterium bovis it causes primarily it causes the tuberculosis of the GI tract that means especially in the uh, ileocecal region and they can cause the TV in the tonsils also in the cervical lymph adenitis they can cause and they can cause uh, uh, infection the tuberculosis of the ileocecal region of the GI tract. This is about the whole diseases they cause. Now, so let us see how it is transmitted. This disease is transmitted from the person to person. How? The infected individual, he cough, sneeze, shouting, talking, laughing, all these the infected individual in this act the in infected individual will produce droplets and aerosol and this aerosol can be inhaled by the susceptible individual and it can cause disease in the susceptible person. Another is by the ingestion that means the milk contaminated by the microbacterium bovis can be can cause disease in the GI tract of the um, human being that means in at the ileocecal region they can cause the tuberculosis and another by whether by skin if the skin is abraded or breathed through that abraded skin the skin the bacteria can grow can enter and they cause infection in the skin also it can spread directly directly how in the lungs if there is an infection in the lung there is a focus on the lung that can be become that can that can be bigger that can they, they may undergo caseation necrosis and which may erode the bronchus and they can discharge the dis all the discharges into the bronchus and it is cuffed out and when coughing up, coughing up, up it is it can cause 
it can cause tub tuberculosis in the larynx, it can cause throat and it can be ingested also and it can cause intestinal tuberculosis. This is how they spread and they can cause the disease. Now let us see who are the effects, who are the persons can be infected by these diseases. As the aged people and children, they are more likely to get the infection and they are more, mal more malnourished people, they can get the disease. There are some people may have some coexisting co disease that is HIV, they can, call, they can have this disease. Some people are all anti-cancerous drug, they can have, some people are immunocompromised, they can have this disease. So these are the people who can get this disease. Now let us see what are the constituents of this tuberculosis, tuberculosis vesicle, bacilli. First is the lipids the mycolic acid, long chain fatty acid responsible for acid fastness of this bacteria. Lipids linked to proteins and polysaccharides. Muramyl dipeptide, it helps, it helps, helps in the pathogenesis of this bacteria. And serpentine cords that is TLO66 dimycolate is a cord factor. It is responsible for making rope Twisty, twisted rope like uh, growth in the liquid media of um, for liquid media. Uh, then, virulence factor. Now, let us see the virulence factors of this bacteria. The cord factor this is the glycolipid 3 halo 66 six dimycolate. It is responsible for serpentine cord serpentine growth in the liquid media and it is toxic to leukocytes, uh, uh, it, is, it interferes the, with the mitochondrial function and plays a role in the development of granulometrous lesions. Iron capturing capacity of the bacteria is very important as because the, the bacteria which can store iron in their, in their body, they are more virulent as because they can survive inside the macro macrophages. Another is the sulfotides. This is another substance which is very much important for the pathogenesis as because this is the, uh, this is the constituents which prevent the phago phagolysosome fusion. And phagolysosome fusion is very much essential for the killing of the bacteria present in the phagosome. So, this is a substance which will prevent the phagolysosome fusion. So, bacteria can multiply and they can reside inside the phagosome of the macrophages. So, this is the law. Now, the classification or let us see the classification. Classification can be tuberculosis may be pulmonary tuberculosis and the extra pulmonary tuberculosis. Pulmonary tuberculosis may be primary and secondary, secondary diseases and extra pulmonary tuberculosis may be in different parts of the body. It can affect all the parts of the body except in three, four areas what we say that is the thyroid, muscle cells, cardiac muscles and the brain. These four things four tissues are not being affected by this microbacterial tuberculosis, but all the other tissues and the organs of the or human body is being affected by the pulmonary microbacterial tuberculosis. So, this is about the whole classification. Thank you very much.